Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In this short video I'm sharing with you how to make wudu ablution similar to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Beginning with al-basmala you say bismillahir rahmanir rahim and the intention in the heart to make wudu so that you can pray with or perform tawaf You begin with washing the hands Anything we do the sunnah is to do it three times washing the hands washing the arms washing the face except for wiping over the hair it's only once but as a matter of fact you can still wash any part of the wudu once or twice so the perfect sunnah is to make it three times and i'm going to show you brothers and sisters that we can be very economical while using water making a hole in a bottle like that 60 milliliters and we'll see how much water will be using inshallah so i said bismillahir rahmanir rahim i'm wearing a ring so after i put a little bit of water here in my hand i'm going to wash both hands bismillahir rahmanir rahim and i will move the ring so that i wash beneath it okay here i washed my hands then the next step will be after washing the hands Put enough water in my palm because I'm going to use it for rains in the mouth and the nose. In one hand. I do both the mouth and the nose. I will do it one more time. Here is enough water. So I will put some in my mouth. And the rest I will use it to rinse my nose as well. Then I will spit it out. Then I will take some water in my palm and wash my face. How? From top to bottom and both sides. If you have a beard like myself, use your fingers to go through the hair. How many times you say three times? I can make them only two or even one. Based on how much water you have and uh, you know, if you're in a hurry, all of that is permissible but the perfect sunnah is to make it three times i'm gonna make it one more time here is water then all right and then washing the arms up to the elbows and i'm going to go a little bit above the elbows because the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam recommended that we should begin with the right hand first. Bismillah. One more time. For explanation. Here. The water washed my arm even above the elbows. What is required? Up to the elbows. More than that, this is inshallah to be assigned for you on the day of judgment because these body parts will be shining on the day of judgment. One more time, three times here. I began with the right arm, then the left one here. And I can do this from the bottle directly. So this way. Okay. And now with wiping over the head wiping not washing there are two methods to do it one of them is by doing this going all the way to the back of your head and coming back this is a sunnah that has been narrated by one of the companions that the prophet ﷺ performed masah over his head this way but if you do this and you keep it and obviously don't forget the ears along with wiping over the head it is sufficient if you're bold you still wipe over the head okay uh, so i'm going to do the mess even though i said the mess is only once you don't do it twice nor thrice because now you're innovating but i'm ju just going to explain how do you do the mess wiping here that is sufficient the other method is you come back with the hands from the back to the front of your head. I'm done. It remains for me the feet. 
as you know that the ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number 6, says, washing the feet. إِلَى الْكَعْبَيْنِ Where are the Kaabain? These two bones, the ankles. But I'm wearing socks. And I remember I was wearing my socks while having wudu. So, I am permitted whether it's summer or winter, as long as my socks are intact and covering the ankles, I can do this. Here, with my four fingers and wipe on top of my right foot. And then I do the same with the left foot. Four fingers and wipe over or on top of my left foot. By that, I finished making wudu while wiping over my socks. And how much water I used? Wow, not even a quarter of a bottle of 60 milliliters. What if I want to wash my feet? Let's do it. So I'm going to roll up my pants and take off my socks. And likewise, with the left one, here, take this away. And then I'm going to wash my right foot first. There is a sunnah which is called takhleel between the toes, as we did in the case of washing the hands and the beard. I've done it three times. If you go a little over the or above the ankles, it's even better. Okay? And now, with the left foot, again, you wash between. The toes, that's called takhleel. I've done it twice, and now three times. I finished making wudu. And then, look how much water I used, including washing the feet. And I was very generous. I washed three times. Then after I finished my wudu, there is a beautiful supplication, and it comes with a huge reward. The supplication is to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله If you say that by itself according to the sound hadith the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the eight gates of heaven will be open wide for you to enter al-jannah from whichever gate you desire there is also uh, an extension to this supplication so you say أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين Oh Allah make me among those who frequently repent and those who frequently purify themselves In Surah Al-Baqarah Allah says إن الله يحب التوابين ويحب المتطهرين Allah loves those who frequently repent and frequently purify themselves You also say سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب لك Wudu is such a beautiful act of worship, not necessarily because you're ready to pray, but if you can keep wudu all the time, you will be like um, Bilal ibn Rabah, may Allah be pleased with him, whom the Prophet وسلم, said, Ya Bilal, I could hear your footsteps in paradise. Tell me which deed that you hope it will admit you to paradise most. He said, Ya Rasulullah, every time I lose wudu, I just make wudu. Then I pray to rakas, which are known as sunnatul wudu. May Allah the Almighty make us among at-tawabina wal-mutatahirin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.